At first glance, the small town of Ligatna is an unlikely spot for the arrival of the Industrial Revolution in Latvia. The first inhabitants of Ligatna dug caves into the sandstone cliffs, but not for living in. The caves were ideal for storing vegetables, jams and other useful things, yes also wine which is still made here today from local fruit and berries. The people of Ligatna have always been industrious and merry folk, and their place names like Lustusis for the highest cliff reflect their joy of life. The Lustusis caves are now home to craftsmen who are delighted to demonstrate their skills to visitors, but the main activity of Ligatna is different. Lee Gatner's claim to fame is its paper mill, which was installed in the old water mill by two enterprising merchants from Riga in 1815. The factory needed workers, but the workers needed roofs over their heads, and so the town of Lee Gatner grew. From the very beginning, the town was built for the workers of the paper mill. It was surprisingly modern and well-designed for its time. Its historic centre consists of 19th century terraced houses in which the workers lived, and indeed still live to this day. This just goes to show the strength of tradition in Ligatne, not only in architecture, but also in social life, music making and maintaining the unique landscape of the town. When you visit Ligatne, pay special attention to its bridges. They've been rebuilt, following a rather extravagant local tradition. The Ligatne guest house, in the form of a Swiss chalet, is one of the most colourful accents here. It was built in Germany, dismantled and shipped to Ligatne shortly before the First World War. The main building of the paper mill is also authentic. It was built in 1830 and paper is still manufactured here. If you want to see how waste paper turns into new paper, the factory guides will be pleased to show you around. The golden age of Ligatna paper mill was the end of the 19th century. The quality of its paper was recognized by many, including Tsar Nicholas II of Russia. He awarded Lee Gatner the royal privilege to produce paper with the Russian coat of arms watermark for state documents. The social club for the paper mill's workers was also built around this time. After its recent reconstruction, it now invites visitors to appreciate its Art Nouveau splendor. The social club was home to a theater, choir, and dance groups, a brass band, and a reading room. The cellar contained possibly the first bowling hall in Latvia. There are very few places in the world where a 19th century industrial township has been preserved intact. One of them is Ligatne. Come and visit.